to do a visual aid for you so that you can see exactly how the myofascial tissues of the muscles are made up and how a little trigger point is created because a lot of people are not familiar with the muscle tissues and how it builds up and saying do trigger point therapy for your muscle aches and pains means nothing to most people so if you can visualize it by seeing a little simple illustration it's going to help you remember it in your mind and next time when you're trying to find an area of tightness in your muscle in your body somewhere you're going to pick up that little trigger point and find it immediately and break it down and heal much faster so our muscle fibers are like these elastics all little fibers and fascia sit in a straight line and when they're relaxed and normal and flexing and moving they glide against each other and move freely well say you got an injury so here's your muscle sitting normally and you injure your muscle so now one's pulling a little bit tight little area of tightness builds up and this creates a little stickiness and the longer you leave it more and more of these little fibers start bundling up and getting tight and coiling on each other so imagine all these little sticky fibers that are not gliding properly sticking getting stuck to each other it's going to build up a huge tight area and that's what a trigger point is so say you're stretching your muscles out every day or you you think you're getting better or you you're doing certain movements to glide the muscle but it just seems like it's not coming right no matter what you do or how you stretch as you see that muscle fiber is not going to ever come right if you've got all these tight sticky bands that are sticking together so what you need to do with the myofascial release is break down this little area of tightness and as you slowly work these muscles and break them down they get looser and looser and start gliding against each other and the more you do this the more they start gliding and the more it breaks down and your normal function muscle comes back so i hope that makes sense so just like in your muscle pretend all the elastics are running this way and when i flex they contract and they open up and stretch now when i get an area of tightness here it's bundling and bundling and all these muscles are like stretching but they, as i come back it forms that little ball so what you need to do you need to really get in there work those tissues down break them down get them gliding against each other so take your ball now this works for anywhere on your body where you've got a tight area you just work it you, you're going to feel very tender and you're going to just work it roll it i've shown you this in other videos another method you can do um, is breathing through it you have to breathe through all of them so you hit that tight area you're going to feel like you want to pull away stay there hold it and just breathe through it because as you breathe you're going to feel that shooting and breaking down that muscle uh, breathe through it hold it another technique is holding the ball there and rotating that muscle and gliding that muscle along that plane and just working it as in a different fashion because you you don't want your body to get used to breaking it down one way and you still got a tightness across the other way so you want to work all movements glide along all planes and really get deep into that tissue and let everything flow naturally again you're going to be injury free um, less susceptible to injuries and you're not going to be stopped when you start training because of an injury you're going to just keep going and getting stronger and and just bettering yourself so give this a try i hope that makes sense uh, leave your comments or questions i'll get straight back to them uh, if there's anybody that's not familiar with any terms or really struggling just leave a comment below or subscribe and i've got constant updates i've got i'll answer the questions right away